Hi everyone, it's Emmy here at Emmy's Everything. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am going to do a quick, um, well it wasn't really quick in real time, but I kind of sped up the video. I'm going to do a quick, <laughs> I said it again, a journaling session. I have my Hobonichi cousin right here. I have been going strong with this since I started it um, in December of 2022. I missed a couple of pages, but then I would go back and fill it in, and it's so full. And as you already saw, I did a really fast flip through of what I have so far. And then I'm going in, and I am, I think at this point, I am doodling what had happened in the day. I'm using this Write Tech pen that I love so much. This is from Amazon. I've seen so many write tech videos on Instagram and I just had to get my hands on some of these pens and they are amazing. Um, not sponsored. I wish it was, but not sponsored in any way. But these pens are so inexpensive and it came in a pack of eight, I believe, and I loved every single tip. So I'm just writing some of the things that I did. <laughs> Um, on that day just as a bullet to do type style and then I did add a photo of my kiddo and I already had pre-decorated some of this stuff I have my planner pretty much dated and numbered and I added days of the week on most of the pages there are a few pages that are missing some date stickers and or printables and some days of the week but for the most part I actually used um, I'm actually decorated most of the pages so in this book it just it varies a whole lot sometimes I would journal um, sometimes I would write and list the things that I've um, done that that I did that day it just depends on my mood uh, sometimes it's just filled with printables some pages I doodle and right now I'm just kind of doodling a pineapple because we went to uh, Jack in the Box and I tried their pineapple express shake and oh my gosh it was so delicious it was so yummy and I just had to go out and get a shake so that's why I decided to use those um, eco line brush pens to write or doodle a pineapple and it's messy but it was fine and then I did a little bit of mini journaling at the page and then I think in a little bit I'm gonna grab a sticker book and I'm gonna use a happy planner really really old sticker book and add um, some small stickers just to fill up that space because I wasn't in the mood to write anymore. I, I kind of play around with pages and um, I like to fill it up. And if I don't, that's totally fine too. But I was just using up stickers at this point. I don't even know what they say. Um, creative and uh, dreaming big and <laughs> stuff like that. So I feel like the page uh, turned out um, really nice. And I like to put um, a paper between my pages um, just to prevent the ink from bleeding off to the page on the other side. But if it does, that's totally fine. And then what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to go in real quick. I'm going to take some of these e the Ecoline brush pens and uh, kind of put bits and bobs of splotches of ink. And then I'm going to grab my watercolor. Uh, brush pen and then just smear some of the ink all around um, so I could have some background pages for later um, the, the, the blah, blah, blah. oh my goodness I'm so lost I'm so sorry the ink is really nice and um, the paper um, really reacts or the ink really reacts to the paper nicely and I'm able to spread the ink just to give it this nice background effect it looks kind of messy but i promise at the end whenever it dried 
it did look really nice so i'm going in with another color i'm using the yellow one and i should have probably cleaned my brush before i uh, put it onto the yellow because it was i was using red or magenta and it kind of looked a little muddy but then it was fine and then i grabbed this this is a um, astology i've been using i've been decorating i haven't actually journaled in it but i have been placing printables and decorating washi tape and all the things and inks so right here i'm just going in with the ecoline brush pen and i'm drawing a little boy i'm gonna doodle a little boy and every time i doodle this image um it kind of reminds me of my middle son so that's who this doodle is going to be it's just so fun because you can just pick whatever eco line brush pen that you like put some ink everywhere kind of give it a base like kind of how i doodled here just spread out some of the ink and then i just grab my watercolor brush and then spread all the ink around all the pages and so in this notebook this is the stalogy like i had mentioned before the ink um kind of doesn't spread as much as the tomo, Ri tomo river paper in like an, a hobonichi but it spreads enough so you you pretty much can't let it sit there for a long time like after the ink is already settled and dried it would be extremely hard to kind of spread out with water but if you just spread it out immediately after you apply the eco line brush pen then it'll be fine so i'm just setting that to the side so that it could dry and then i'm grabbing my onion skin notebook so i've had this onion skin notebook for a long time and it has like a million pages so i don't know if or when i'll be able to even complete this notebook just because there's so many pages and it's not one of those notebooks that i always grab because for some reason and i know it's just in my head for some reason in this notebook i feel like i always want to be neat i i want the notebook to end up looking put together and neat like i said so i just always want to write nice and i want to use um collage pieces that kind of are in that vintagey feel and played out and set nicely on the pages and in my other journals i feel like i am more free and i could just place whatever pieces of papers stickers and printables um anywhere and it just makes me happy but in this book I feel like I want it to be laid out nicely and I'm very particular and I think about it. I think about where each piece of paper um, is going to be in the notebook. So yeah, that's just how I am in this notebook. I did um, journal a page, um, but yeah, it's still going to take me forever. I ran out of tape runner or my tape runner was somewhere so I couldn't um refill it so I did use some wet glue but I typically will not use wet glue on the actual onion skin or transparent paper but because I knew I was gluing the sheet on another sheet of paper and not directly on the onion skin paper I was fine and yeah I think that this layout kind of turned out pretty i liked all the blues on the page and i loved all the washi stickers and pieces of paper so that was great and now i am grabbing a printable from my little packet or folder plastic folder that i keep my printables that plastic folder i believe i think i got it off of shein a long time ago I haven't purchased anything from Shein in a really long time, so I kind of don't really remember. This is an older sheet from Pocket Journal Pam. As you can see there is the Johnny Depp image that she um, drew, and that was cute, but that was during the Johnny Depp uh, trial, so it was a long time ago. 
but I'm just grabbing some pieces. I printed the printables on sticker paper so it could make it a lot easier for me whenever I am grabbing printables and just placing it in whatever journal I choose to do so. If I'm out of sticker paper, then I just uh, use regular white printer paper and a glue stick and that's totally fine too. This is just more convenient, but it is a little more expensive. And here are the pages that I, um, what is that called? <laughs> Put some ink on. And I'm just adding some of those printables on there. And this one says photos in my journal. So it went perfectly with uh, the photo that I had in my journal. <laughs> I'm so silly. And next and lastly, I think I'm going to take a black pen. And I'm just going to outline um, the image. And Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just going to put eyes. And it's so cute. Eyes and a mouth. And... <laughs> And then the um, illustration or drawing, doodle, whatever you want to call it, just looks so cute. And I'm just writing um, my son's name because that's him. <laughs> I think it's so cute. And I think I'm going to end the video in a few moments. I am using the right tech pen. That's it. Bye.